FFA members, I remember. I sat in a seat in Kansas City Municipal Auditorium right about here. I remember it distinctly. I remember the, the energy, just like this morning. See, this, this, this crazy thing that happens at convention. You, you come with the pride of that hometown where you're from. It's on the back of your jacket. You come with the pride of this country, and you mix it with the bigness of National FFA and the bigness of all the aspects of agriculture. That was our convention and our moments. This is your convention. These are your moments. You have the greatest challenge of any FFA generation ever. You have to feed this nine billion people, the largest on the planet, but listen to me, with less resources than we're using today. And I truly believe you can do that. We have to find the hunger inside us before we end hunger, and you're gonna do it by 2050. So the challenge that you have is how you do more with less. Today we have one glass of milk per person. We need two for the Wilsons and the Teresas and the, and the increased population. And so how do we go from one glass of milk to two? That's the, that's the gap before 2050. There's two ways. One way is the way our generation has done it. Add more cows, add more land, add more water. We can do that, but it's gonna cause problems. It would be 66 million more cows needed to go from one glass to two. You with me? The other way is this. This is four ounces of milk. We need four ounces more of milk per cow per day of improvement for the next few years. And we move from one glass to two. I got a story this summer about this farm, this family farm. It's proof of what I'm trying to do here. They have 118 cows. They've had 118 cows for 10 years. And in that 10 years, they have improved production from nine gallons a cow to 10 gallons a cow, simple terms. They've added one gallon over that 10 years. And you know what that equates to? A cup and a half, three times what we need. So I say to them, how are you doing it? We got done milking. I said, walk me around and show me how you do this. And the very first thing they said, Mary Lou said this to me is, well, we do what all farmers do. We know how to take care of the animals and the land and we make sure they're comfortable. And we know how to do that as well as anybody. And we make sure there's rubber mats and good ventilation and that alfalfa field out there, we cut it six times a year at the right time. We give them the right food. We use the technology that's safe biotechnology and reproduction. And, and through that, it happens. And I left that farm that day. And I look at my four ounces of milk now. And I think about the vision of what we can do. And listen, you need heroes. You need these stories. Because you know what it does? It gives you proof. It gives you credibility. It feeds your hunger inside when you see this. We need the FFA advisors and the chapter advisors and FFA chapters and farmers. FFA, this proof and credibility can come and does come from this organization. And that's absolutely critical. Now it's your turn. We can't just tell our story, but we have to act. We have to innovate. We have to develop the next generation of ideas that helps feed this world on less planet, less water and less land and less animals than ever before. Are you up for that challenge? Are you up for that challenge?